What's going on, my math party people? My name is Coach Anderson, and in this video, I'm going to show you two questions regarding percentage discount, one working forward and one working backwards, that's really going to help you out in terms of understanding how to apply percentages properly. We all know that that can cause a lot of anxiety, so let's go ahead and get to it. And as always, if you like the content that we put out, hit that like button, comment on the video, and subscribe so more folks can help just like you. So let's get it going here, my party people. Step one, read that question statement. Don't go reading the whole problem. Just read the question statement. So first it says, hey, how much did Jennifer pay at checkout? Okay, sounds good. We have no idea that this is a percentage question yet, but we do know that we're trying to find, again, how much Jennifer is expected to pay. And we see the dollar amounts here in the answer choices. So cool, we know what it is that we're generally trying to find. So then from there, how do we get that final payment? Well, we read here that it says, Jennifer took a computer listed at $2,547, so $2,547, to the checkout counter where she applied a 45% discount. That's a heavy discount for a computer. That's pretty nice. But here it says, again, how much did we pay? So what we know is that the original price is $2,547, and then we have a discount of, again, 45%. So what do we do with this information? Well, we're going to apply that discount so we can get that final price. But there's two ways that most people generally set this up. One will get you the answer right away, and the other will require you to take one more step. Let me show you what that one more step would look like quickly, and then I'll show you the other quicker way. So again, most folks will think, hey, let's just go ahead and do 45% times 2,547, and that'll give us our answer. Not quite. The reason that this won't give us our answer is because of the main idea, the main rule behind percentages. The main rule is the percent that you apply is the result that you get. So what does that mean? Well, think about it like this. What does the 45% represent? It represents the discount, right? It represents that discount. We see it right there. So the 45% again represents a discount. And so the representation of the number that we'll get, the result over here, that will represent the discount, not the final price. So that's the important thing to take into account, everybody. That's it right there. So if you go ahead and just calculate with 45%, Whatever number you get, that won't be the final answer. It'll be the discount. And so what do you need to do with that to actually get the final answer? You'll have to subtract whatever this is from that original amount to get the final price. And that can be confusing to remember, right? So all you really have to remember is the main idea. The percent you apply is the result you get. So how can I better solve this more quickly? The quicker way to solve this will be making sure that the percent that we apply represents the final amount that you'll pay. That's going to be the better way to go about it. And so here's how we can do that right over here. And I'm going to say again, I want to represent that final price instead. The way that we can do that is by understanding that the original amount is always represented by 100%. That is the original entire cost, right? So what happens when we take away the discount? Because again, a discount is supposed to be subtracted. So when we subtract the discount, when we subtract the 45%, we're left with what? 60, or excuse me, 55% right there. That's what's left. And so when you have the original amount and you take away the discount, you're left with the final amount. And so that's how I know that 55% is what I'm supposed to use. And so that's how we can get the answer very quickly because now we have 55% multiplied by 2547. So let's go ahead and do the math quickly here. Turning a percentage to a decimal would be 0 0.55 multiplied by 2547. So let's do that math right over here. 2547 multiplied by 0.55. And here we go. 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 3. 4 times 5 is 20, 
carry the three is 23. Five times five is 25, carry the two is 27. And then two times five is 10, carry the two is 12. So next we'll move over next place value for that next five. And we have the same exact number that we're multiplying by. So we can just repeat all of that right there. Five, three, seven, two, one, add it all together. And here we go, five, eight, 10, 10 again, four and one. How many decimal places are we moving over? One, two, right there. And there is our answer, 1,485 cents. Right there and there it is. In one calculation, we're able to get the final answer as opposed to doing it this way, getting a number that you might see on the screen, B, and then having to subtract it, having to remember to subtract it to get the actual final answer. So that's A right there, there's our answer. So before I continue to the next question, my ASVAB party people, make sure that you sign up for our free classes once a week. We'll be doing problems just like this one and more. That way you can continue raising your confidence and get that score that you want. So click the link in my bio or the description of this video to sign up for our free ASVAB classes on Zoom once a week. And we have plenty more materials to continue helping you succeed. Sign up, show up, and let's raise those scores, my party people. All right, so let's go ahead and get over to this second problem. So the second one here, after a 30% discount, we see that Deborah paid this much for a textbook. But what we wanna know from this is, what was the cost before the discount? So we'll set up the same equation in the same way, but we have to understand what belongs where. So here we go. We know that again, the final price was 203.70. So that's our final price equals 203.70. And then we see that we had a 30% discount. So 30% discount. So here's the problem. If I were to go ahead and try to set it up like this, again, we're trying to work backwards to get the original number before the discount. So if we were to set it up like this, 30% times the original number equals 203.70, most people try to set it up this way, but it's wrong because you're not following that principle. The percent you apply and the result you get need to represent the same exact amount or the same exact idea. And so it doesn't here because 30% is a discount and 20370 is the final price. These don't represent the same thing. So just like in the previous question, we'll do the same thing in terms of, well, how can I represent the final percentage here? Well, again, the original amount is 100%. We had a 30% discount. And if we take that away, 70% is that final price. So that's what makes this a lot smoother and a lot easier. We can take that 30 away, put in that 70%, because again, this is the final amount and this is the final amount. So now that we have the same things represented in the percent and the result, we can go ahead and calculate now. So I'll go ahead and put an X here for the variable. And so we'll have 0 0.70 or 0 0.7 multiplied by X equals 20370. And so from here, all we have to do is divide both sides by 0 0.7 and we're done. I'll zoom on in to continue the calculation. Cancels out again to leave the X by itself. And so to divide by a decimal, it's really easy. You just don't. Don't divide by the decimal, but instead, we're going to move the decimal place over one time to the right and make sure to do the same thing up top. That way, you turn this into 2037 divided by 7. You can say the 0, .0 if you want to, but it's not necessary anymore. And there we go. That's what's going to make this a lot easier to divide by that decimal by removing the decimal entirely. And now we can go ahead and calculate. So here we'll have 7 going into 20. That's two times. Subtract 14 to get six, drop the three, and then that's gonna be nine. Subtract 63, zero, drop the seven, and we get one. And there it is, 291. That is the original price of this item, of the college textbook. And there we go, my party people. As always, I'm here to help you. I'm Coach Anderson. Let's keep raising those scores, get that job you deserve, and let's keep at it. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.